Thompson, I work for Chef as a customer success engineer, which means my role is to go in and help people you know, use Chef efficiently. Um, Chef is um, a system to help you resolve complexity. Um, modern computer systems, uh, whenever you have know, a website, whatever, it seems like it's simple, oh, it's just Apache, but oh, then you have a database, and actually it's quite a popular site now, so we need a couple of couple of front ends with a low balancer, and actually we need the database to be replicated, so we'll have a couple of them, and oh, we need some uh, some fast searching, so let's get a solar indexing system in, and that's another thing. You know, so very quickly, you get a system that you know, looks approximately like that. Um, and when you're managing that by hand, it's, it's quite difficult. Um, so you want to have some policies. You want to say, what, what is a system, you know, you know, say what the system is, apply, apply this, and if the system's changed, you know, we put it back how it should be, and these policies can change. Um, they need to be idempotent, which is you know, a mathematical term that means that you can, if you, you can do the same thing over and over again, you'll always get the same result. Um, simply, you test the state and repair it if it needs to be. Um, you want an anonymous agent. So this is the, the anonymous agent. The policy is the box should be closed. If you open the box, it gets closed. Policy evolves. So in order to follow policy, you want a loop that keeps the system stable and allows for, for change of policy when it's updated. Great. Now, uh, we, we, I said I was talking about Chef. So, what is Chef? Chef is an open source framework for managing complexity. Infrastructure as code. Now, that itself is really important because if it's code, you can test it, you can keep it in version control, uh, all these good things that you would do with code. Um, it's a domain specific language, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's a community of professionals, the community, you know, and it's a company that's called Chef, which is a really, really, yeah. It's difficult to search for things called Chef. <laughs> and particularly when what you run in Chef is a recipe. <laughs> so, how does Chef work? Well, it ensures design stake by continuously testing and repairing individual resources in a system and you compose policies using a series of, of abstractions, which basically means that you define a set of things that you want about your system, and then Chef makes sure that they happen. Um, and also, the abstractions point is a point you don't need to know, you know what, how to install a package on your system, you just say package. Um, so, design configuration. The chef, the, the, the node, the chef client says, what policy should I follow? And the chef server says, you know, run these recipes on this rock. Um, then the actual node itself gets on and does it. Uh, it's a thing, you know, multiple nodes. Um, yeah. So, it's a recipe, that's a resource. I want the package, package two. It's a template, I want to have this package two configuration and um, there'll be some, the, 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 the passing in the variable allow override all. So obviously in the template there's something that you can set up the allow override. Um, and then we've got the at the end of it they say notify is reload. That basically means if this changes, notify the service Apache 2 resource and say reload. And here is the service Apache 2. We want to make sure that it's enabled. Uh, so Apache is enabled, Apache is started. So that basically, you know, the, the enabled means that it'll start a boot, and start means actually start it now. Um, and then the reload is just to say, yes, this, this service understands the reload, so just let it know. Um, it can uh, figure that out for itself. It, it, this is these are quite old slides. So multiple resources all getting on and fixing themselves. There's a bunch of built-in resources. Um, and it's very easy to define your own. Chef is written in Ruby, and you can, uh, using some quite simple Ruby, define your own, own resources to configure anything you like. So uh, you can manage multiple boxes in the So in order to manage complexity, there's various things that we provide within the Chef system, um, organizations, environments, roles, nodes, recipes, cookbooks, cookbooks being a collection of recipes, and then there's search and data. So, organizations, you know, different people's infrastructure. 
within an organization, the way it's set up is that one organization can't see anything about another organization, they're completely separate. It effectively allows you to, you have with one shared server, manage multiple completely isolated sets of systems. Um, environments, on the other hand, they can see information about each other, so an organization has a multiple bunch of environments. Um, the, the environment, you, you can define things like, okay, in this environment I want this version of the cookbook. In this environment I need to set up, I want some data that says these are the DNS servers, this is the proxy server. Um, and and, and the, the, the cookbook versioning bit is important because it means that as you are progressing, as you are testing and developing your cookbooks, you can constrain your production environment only to have the one that you know is the, the stable version, but you can use newer versions in your development environment. Um, and then also you can, if you're deploying your code through Chef, you can actually say, okay, in production environment, I want this version of the code, which is also defined, and then the cookbook would know, okay, I'll call this version, and, and therefore you don't get non-production code on your production environment as well. Uh, roles are things about the system, so you'll have your load balance for application servers, database cache. You don't have to use all these, there's a lot, we, we provide lots of tools to be able to do stuff. And then nodes are the actual individual th things that you're managing. Um, these are machines that you run Chef Client on. Um, there is ways of also having it something that you can't actually run Chef Client on, but you're managing with Chef Client. Um, so for example, if you've got uh, networking equipment you can only connect to through SSH, you can wrap that up in such that you can talk, treat it as a node um, and, and control the chef as well. Um, search, this is what makes chef really powerful. So you can you can on a, on a, you can search for information about other nodes. Um, you can also search for something, you know, search for all nodes that have a role, you can search for all nodes that are running Windows, you can search for um, anything that happens to have the package Apache installed. It's, all, it's very powerful. But one of the big things about it is, so this is a, a snippet of a recipe for configuring your, your, your load balancer. You say, find me all of the nodes that have the role web server. So this would be all your web servers. Um, and then we're passing that list of roles into the template, um, which means, and then the template here has got the uh, as, as you know, puts in server member member addresses, looking through the, the roles. This basically means that uh, you, you've got your system like this, you know, all, all of your information on there, you've got Graphite, Nebulas, you have Cache, Postgres, and you add another application node, and it automatically reconfigures everything else. So 12 resources change with one node addition. Um, and that all happens automatically based on the search system, which is really very powerful. Um, so you can build anything. Um, and importantly, manage it very simply because everything can be configured, you can do everything else. So, um, if, I, these are some, I don't, yeah, these are the design terms. Uh, our, uh, our, our CTO comes up with strange names at times. Say. The community, it's, a, it's an Apache 2 license software, there's 1,500 contributors, 200 of, of which are corporate, 1,500 plus cookbooks. These, are, these slides are from last year, so it's grown a lot since then. Um, and there's testing and workflow, and if you've got any questions, please ask. <laughs>